Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And my name is Prophet Stephen Larolotu from International Christian Association. Please join me on every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock, you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yes, you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. It shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wonderful story of love. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ towards humanity who died on the cross of Calvary for, for us not to die internally. This is the message we are bringing again today. I want to say good morning to everyone in the morning time. If you're in the afternoon, good afternoon. Perhaps you are in the evening. Good evening. The Lord will bless your day. He will increase you on every size. The Lord will enlarge you. Mm -hmm. The Lord will multiply you. Mm -hmm. The joy of the Lord will be multiplied over you mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. The desire of your that your good desire shall be met in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. It will be difficult for you to achieve your goal in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And to those who are here to know Jesus Christ, he will reveal himself to you yes. in his way, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the reason why we have come again today. Once again, you are welcome. This International Christian Association, as you have it on the screen. To so many of you have been part of our Duty People, it's not a program. It's, a, it's an assignment given to us to go and talk about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. I'm also that Jesus Christ want these people to know that there are some things they need to observe to do. It will really, they want to enter into the kingdom of God. If they are walking towards the kingdom of God, what they need to do. This is the reason why we have come again. This particular program is not about either you are a Christian, you are a Muslim. Uh, you are atheist, you are, you know, you are whatever might be your religion, what you believe in. But it's a program to tell everyone who believed after this place, earthly place, there's another world. And what will bring us to that world is judgment that will show to us either you are on the right side or on the wrong side. That we need to do certain things for us to enter to that place. You cannot eat your cake and have it. The kingdom of God is not about eating and drinking. It's about the righteousness in the will of God. That is why we have come today. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to know how far we have gone, why don't you visit YouTube and search for International Christian Association or Prophet Oloti, you find everything, almost everything we've been talking about there. As we're in the studio now, we're on Facebook. Why don't you share with somebody who needs to know more about the kingdom of God? You need somebody to sit up, to talk, to think about what will be my end here one day. To know that you need to prepare for the judgment day. Invite that person, you know, share with him or her. But don't tell you, I have somebody in Nigeria, Africa, tell him or her to join us some uh, platform, you know, a channel on, on subscription in Nigeria. And uh, we'll be able to, to go along with us. And the Lord will help us as we go today in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. As we are the studio now, why don't you beckon to someone to join us on Faith World TV 
Sky Channel 855. Faith World TV, Sky Channel 588. That person will be able to go along with God. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, as we go by, you see some of the program God has given to us to observe in International Christian Association. It's a place where we gather together to share the bread of the word of God together. It's not a church thing. Either you are Muslim, either you are a pagan, either you are atheist, it's not about tribe. The, the word of God collectively wants us to do the same thing. Hallelujah. And it shall be well with us as we, you know, you you join us at any time to be part of us to share the word of God together. It is well with us in Jesus' name. And my name is still a prophet to Allah Roloti. The same man of God be coming. We are here together. I know that person, an evangelist, Raphael, a mother, you are boy. God bless you, sir. Amen. For this glorious day Amen. again that God has given Amen. to us to to come and you know uh, dish out the word he has given to us at this particular time towards his people and the kingdom to come. And as we go today, the Lord will go with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Before we enter into what God is having for us today, can I ask the man of God to pray for us in a minute? What Lord, you are so good. Yes. Lord, you are kind. Yes, Lord. My Lord, you are excellent. Mm -hmm. We give you all the praises. Yes, Lord. And all Lord. Yes. Here is where you say your word is coming out now. Mm -hmm. Perfect your word today. Amen. And let it enter into the life of man. Amen. Shake man to you. Amen. And give us an obedience. Amen. That you follow your instruction. Amen. That no one shall miss it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Have your way and lead us around. Right. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 And Jesus. amen. Hallelujah. Let somebody jam his hands or our hands together for amen. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. On that way to Calvary. He wept for me, Jesus wept for me, Jesus wept for me. On the way to Calvary, he wept for me, and now he set me free. The same to you, on the way to Calvary, he wept for you, Jesus wept for you, he wept for you. On the way to Calvary, he wept for you, and now he set you free for we. On the way to Calvary, he wept for us, Jesus wept for us, he wept for us. On the way to Calvary, he wept for us, and now he set us free. You shall be free, I shall be free Amen. from the condemnations Amen. of men, of sin, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What are we talking about today is the continuation of what we're talking about all this while. The school of life that God gave to man in the Garden of Eden, life internal, he gave to man. He comes to felicitate, to, you know, to have a shot with us. And knowingly to man, disobedience just led us to dropping everything to the hands of Satan. But glory be to God in the highest who gave, it, who gave the world back to us through our Lord Jesus Christ. He came to teach us what his Father in heaven wanted. He taught us what we need to do to suit God in heaven. If you want to show to God that you are his son or daughter, Jesus came to teach us what God wants us to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, and you know, and again, because God speaks, and there is a God who talks. God talks. It's not, it's not a stone. It's not a tree. <laughs> it's not a water. God speaks. He talks to his own people. God looked down from heaven and said, there's a bit of noise around, around the world we are in. Hears of Abraham. He was singing songs that does not count to the hears of God in heaven. Who are these people? 
people that call themselves Christians and Islamic religion. God said, people are just talking about Ma is the best, Ma is the best. I am a tribe of Isaac. I am a tribe of um, Ishmael. My tribe is where Jesus Christ came from. And Ma is, is Muhammad. And that has been the noise all about. Why many that are singing the same song, they left what God requires of us behind, doing their own thing. They are just claiming religion. My is the best, yours is the best. Go and tell my people, that's the primary things they want us to observe, to know, to do, in order for us to really become who we think we are. Mm -hmm. So go and simplify my word. Hallelujah. Amen. And for a while we talked about why why Jesus way is the best in the community of men. Why do you think the way that Jesus Christ laid that is the best? It's because he came to give the mind of God the ways of the law, how God wants us to do things. That was why he came in person to dwell among us. You know, the times of the angel, when they came, you know, the Bible said they came here and they, be, they, 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 they start to do what God does even send them. But now Jesus now came to live with us. And he was able to do all that he expects us to do. What God expects you to do. Jesus came to do the same. So you cannot tell God that nobody can behave like God. Jesus came to our world. And he did everything. Go and check his record. There are some things that you think is not possible that Jesus Christ did. He made it, he made it possible. Thou shalt not avenge yourself. He did it. Thou shalt not kill. He did it. Even when he had that power, he said, I have power to call us a legion from heaven to destroy them. He didn't do so. And you know how we do it today. Hallelujah. Yeah. These are the things they want us to bring to his people at this time. In order for us to know that, yes, either we are walking towards the kingdom of God, or no, it's not, a, like I said, it's not, it's not, a, you know, it's not an issue of celebration. It's not about position. It's not about where you are. It's not about either your mega, whatever, whatever. And last week we started another topic that he gave to us. I said, if Jesus tell it, we'll come back again with it today. The testy generation. We started it. The testy generation. Generation that needed to, 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 to kill their thirst. They need water to kill their thirst. No wonder Jesus Christ spoke about, uh, about that woman. Give me water to drink. I might give you my own water. The word of God is the water we are talking about at this time that can kill our thirst. Somebody needs a solution to that problem. The word of God will give you a solution. We give a solution. We give a solution. That is what we are coming to talk about again today. The testy generation. The generation that we are in is testing of the word of God. We mentioned some things last week. Yes, just few hours of things that this generation is testing of. Righteousness. Faithfulness, you know, the testing of love, good desires, all those things that God wanted is fading away in our communities. You hardly see them grow anymore. Rather, it is opposite. The evil things is generating every day. Instead to allow the things of God to multiply, they were diminishing in our society. Killing is increasing every day. Evil is increasing. Let's say evil is increasing against the will of God in our community. That is why we have troubles in our world now. Trouble in our world. So what does he say to us in the book of Isaiah 55? Let's see from verse 1 to 13. Who? Oh, everyone who thirsty. Everyone that is thirsty. Come to the water. Come to the water. 
and you. It's not the ordinary water, the boho, or the one that you are drinking wherever you are hearing me. It's not that river beside your house. It's everyone that is thirsty, come to water. What does it say? And you who have no money. Who you that has no money? Come. Come. Buy and eat. Buy and eat. Yes. I will charge you. <laughs> yes, come. You know I'm coming, sir. You know how much you pay to 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 build a borehole. Hmm. You know how much you pay, you know, in on, on, as a as a rent, a renter payment every month in your country to the to, to the water resources corporation, whatever you call the name you call it. The water you drink in your house is not free. They charge you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. But he said, come. The water I want to give to you is free of charge. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you, you can't say to yourself, I, I, I don't think I have enough, you know, to pay for this that you are asking me to do. He said, come freely. I will give. What does he say, sir? He, yes, come. Yes, come. Buy wine and bake. Buy wine and bake. And make. Yes. Without money. Without money. And without price. Everything that you think you need to nurture your heart, your soul, your body. Jesus Christ said, come. When you have the word of God, everything will be together. They will be supplied. You have comfort with it. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You have comfort. You have joy in having the water of Jesus Christ to your soul. Come. You have meat. You have water. You have uh, wine. You have everything to nurture, to nourish your body shall be supplied. Which means somebody can be rich and not be fulfilling. Mm. You can be rich and, and, not, and not enjoy life as he ought to. You might be a rich man and never sleep. So when you come to the word of God, you understand better. What does he say, Father, sir? He says something. Why do you spend money for what is not bread? Why do you need to spend money for what is not bread? And your wages for what does not satisfy. And you are spending your wages on what is not satisfying. Listen carefully to Listen me. to the word of God carefully. And eat what is good. Why are you spending money on those things that will condemn you before the Lord? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You know what you buy that is not good to the heart that God has created with you. You know what you spend your money for to destroy that person. Yeah, because you had that money. You can buy somebody's life with your money. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He said, why must you, should you spend money on what is not necessary before the Lord? When the word of God reaches out to you, it teaches you what you need to do and what you don't do. Test generation is where we are now. That the word of God is becoming fading away in our society. Even when people are talking about it, we have fake, you know, preachers. We have good ones. We have good, you know, <laughs> pulpit in the classroom. <laughs> and we have fake ones too. But we need to balance it now that the word of God is cast to so many people. They don't want to hear it. And those that are saying it, some are saying heresy about it. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is very scarce. So I think I said something to you last week. I had the man that said, where was God? Where was he living before he created heaven and earth? He said, God is not living in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. When we know God, Jesus Christ came to teach us that God lives in heaven. He said, I'm going back to heaven. Amen. Which means, if such a man says God was not living in heaven, which means everything that Jesus Christ said here, he rubbish it, Amen. he condemned it. He said to Jesus Christ, you are not speaking the truth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Mm. Heresies around us, diminishing the word, the, 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 the volume of the word of God in the community that we find, in the generation we find ourselves now. 
But you that is walking toward the kingdom of God, hear the word of God very well. What does he say for that, sir? He says something. Listen carefully to me. Listen carefully to God now. And eat what is good. Eat what is good. And let your soul delight itself in and abundance. Let your soul delight in abundance. You must eat good food. Good food now. You must eat good food. Not heresies. Not what you want to hear. Not what. And, and I saw some people, they were, they were praising him. They were praising the man of God. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. These are the things that we see around us today. Test generation. And I saw a man of God want to perform a miracle, kissing a lady. Oh my God. Kissing her. Said, that was the miracle he's performing. They are kissing her, is draining that, 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 that attack from the vein of that sister. He did it the first time. Said, I'm, I'm satisfying his own flesh. Lost on the world. The test generation. And there are people in that same church, you know, cream into him my tongue. You are just satisfying the need of that man who called himself man of God or the woman of God. Maybe you don't know the word of God. He say, if you are thirsty for the word of God, come to the book of God. If you don't know how to read the word of God, let me pray to God, Lord, lead me to somebody that will take me out of the imprisonment I find myself now. Because we have them around. Liars around. Turning things over to sue themselves. Hallelujah. Amen. God was not living in heaven. And where do you think God is living? After Jesus Christ said, he lives in heaven, he's staying in heaven, I'm going there, and he said, I will come back again to take you home. If you don't understand the word of God, why don't you ask for the Holy Spirit to teach you what Jesus Christ says to come and do with us here? We have them, heresies around us. But he said to us, we are thirsty. What does he say? We come to them. Incline your ears. Incline your, open your ears. And come to me. And come to God. Yeah, yeah, and your shoes. Open be. your ears. Don't close your ears. Don't say, uh, we know there are so many things happening around, around us. And those people, I don't, uh, those men of God, and I don't, I don't trust. Uh, you, where you, you say, where you know the truth, you know. I mean, where you see the truth, you know. When you hear the truth word of God, you know. He said, come to me, open your ears, and hear what I am about to say to you. What does he say they should do, sir? He hear, something. and your soul shall live. Hear, and your soul shall live. That is where the word of God is coming to console your soul. You must not allow devil to buy your soul. Where you need to meet the Lord is your soul to cover with God. When you allow devil to begin to walk in your soul, then you'll be doubting the stages of the Lord for your life. What God wants you to understand for you, that was that he has come to be a savior to us, and he has always come to save our soul from evil. That we think that we do. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And that is why we are thirsty of the word of God in this generation. Nobody wants to hear the word of God. What is it? Say? But God, no God, he spoke to me about three, four days ago. And God said, the Christian faith, very soon, Christian faith will dominate Islamic faith. The reason is, it's not that Jesus, it's not that Jesus, it's, it's not talking about that Jesus God, is, it's because there are some people who know, who, who, they, 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 they love God. They were doing things for God. They, they were thinking about God. But because they don't have the, they are, because they still have some things in their hands, 
that is not really giving room for everything that God really wanted to Jesus Christ. Mm. This God does seem to be a kind of ignorance like the day of Saul of Tarsus on his way to Damascus to kill the followers of the truth word of Jesus. And the Lord said to Ananiah, Hey, don't worry, Ananiah said, Ah, if that man, we cannot talk, he said, Josie, he said, Josie, don't worry, he said, I'll be chosen, I will use him. So there are so many people like that. Paul was fighting for God ignorantly, and God, is not going to fight. You just go, you need, you, you are, yeah, you are speaking on me, I mean, for me, on my behalf, but you do understand. He said, he will now reach out to every one of them very soon. Note it. There will be no fight in them. It's, it's, it's God that will open them up. Because Jesus Christ said about it before he left. The testing generation. That is why somebody will knife somebody and will think he's having God. That is why you think here yeah, you can take over what does not belong to you. And uh, because of your power you have used, you think it's acceptable. But by the time you come to the water of the Lord, which is the word of God, you will understand what Jesus really brought to us. The reason why his way is the best is that he came to give to us what God wanted from us in heaven. If truly you want to enter into the kingdom of God, you must adhere to what you are hearing today that this generation we are in is testing of the word of God, the, of the doing of the things of the Lord. Not preaching the word. Many are preaching the word, but we are not doing what we are preaching. The followers, the, because we see that your teacher, your master, your teacher, or prophet, or whatever, that your, you know, your geo, you see, you know what he's doing. And you cannot follow what he's saying. But when you come to the water of God, the water, the word of God, you understand what he's saying. What does he say for that, sir? Yes. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. I will make an everlasting covenant with you when you come. The sure message of David. The sure message of David. Indeed. Indeed. I have given him. The sure a... message of David. You know, when he has done some errors, when he came back to God, God forgave him and he gave him promises for eternal kingdom. It doesn't matter what you have done, what I have done. When you come to him, he forgive and forget. He make you to start afresh with him. You have killed somebody before, doesn't matter to God. Just come to him and say, God, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. But the moment you are still practicing the same thing, you are saying, God, forgive me, forgive me. You are not there yet. Until you leave it behind completely. You are a liar. Leave it behind. If anybody tells you that, if anybody tells you that, nobody is righteous. Hey, don't follow them. Oh. Your righteousness is, is not that you have, you are in 100% in totality. Your righteousness is, you know, doing what God really wanted in your own way. In your own way, Jesus Christ said, yes, I've had so many people talking about Jesus Christ. Say, go and simplify my word to them. When the word of God says, you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's because there are so many masters around us. <laughs> if all of us are taking Jesus Christ as our master, there would not have been need for anyone to confess. Again, say, go and tell my people, if I say confess me, it's because you still believe in another master. To somebody who feels, yes, uh, all those names you give to, uh, to that idol you worship, it's because you still believe in that your idol as your master. That is why you need to confess that Jesus is the greater master now. <laughs> if you are in Christ, Jesus Christ, you don't need to confess again. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you are confessing, confessing, you are not there yet. I'm not there yet. So go and tell my people, 
Those that need to confess are those that still believe in another master. You still love to do the things of another master. But the moment you not confess that, Jesus Christ, you are my master, you mean you are forgetting. You are leaving behind the other master. That was why I said, can you serve two masters together as a servant? Hallelujah. <laughs> He's talking about this generation is thirsty of the world. God is not, you know, is not, is not, is not a God that wants every one of us to die. It's a God who wants us to do what He likes in heaven in order for us to enjoy what He wanted for us. He says something for that. Sir. What does He say? Indeed, indeed, I have given him as a witness to the people. I have given him as a witness to the people, a leader and the commander for the people, a leader and a commander for the people. Surely, surely, you shall call a nation you do not know, you shall call a nation that you did not know, and nation who did, do not know you shall run to you, nation that does not know you will run to you because of the Lord your God. When you carry God. People will see God in you, they will run after you. When you are the, are the part of the Lord, He is the one that will reveal you to everyone around you. That, that is my son, that is my daughter. No wonder the devil will say to God, I saw Job now, I, I saw him every day, I saw him. But because he's, the, he, he's, a, he's a righteous man, he's doing well. God call him righteous man. How can I come to him? Because he knows the will of God. He knows the will of God. He will never transgress the ways of the Lord. I cannot get him. Are you in the path of the Lord? Are you doing the will of God? Are you serving God? Serving God is not where you go to that four wall, that mega, whatever you call it. It's not where you lie down, where you need down, where you touch the guy with your, with your forehead. Oh, you lie that wherever. That is not he's saying. What he's saying? That when you when you conceive the word of God in your heart and you are walking in it, that means you are no more thirsty. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know, every one of us should be thirsty of the interest of God every day. Either you are you believe in Jesus Christ, that is your son, Lord and Savior, you should be thirsty of worshiping him every day. Doing this own thing every day in the in the very high frequency every day. Is there something for us, mm. To thirteen. What does he say? And the only one of Israel. And the only one of Israel. For he has glorified. He you. has glorified you. He has glorified himself among you. He wants you to be glorified in doing the will of of you no know, of God his Father. He has done the will of God his Father here, and he has brought us all to himself. If anybody tells you because you are not a child, you are not a child of God, it's a great lie. You can be tomorrow. But come to him, come to his world, come to his will, and begin to do what you could not do before. So whoever is in Christ, whoever is in the will, whoever is in the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ, is no more an old person anymore. You become a new person who will be walking in what you have just known about him. The word of God is being slippery way in our generation. We find ourselves in our communities now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's quickly go to the book of Luke chapter 18, sir. Luke chapter 18. Let's see what verse 1 to 80 say to us. The word we are in is thirsty of the will of God, word of God. We can hear news around. News around. Liars around. You know. Around. The position where you are given to govern the people of God. Maybe some people think until you become a pastor, until you become an apostle, that is where you are working for God. No! You are a medical doctor, you are working for God in the life of people. He created. 
Either you believe that he is not God, who created you. He is an ignorance to somebody. But the day the Lord meet with you in his word, the way you surrender to him, you will know that there is one God. Nobody preaches to, to, to Saul on the way to Damascus. The moment the Lord met with him on the way, understanding came to him. He began to talk about Christ Jesus Christ. The testy generation we are in now need the word of God. So what does he say, sir, for verse 1? Then he spoke a parable to them. Then he spoke a parable to them. That men always ought to pray and not to lose How it. they need to pray and don't lose heart. Saying there was in a certain city. There was in a certain city. A judge who did not fear God nor there, a dead man. There was a judge in that city that doesn't fear God. Or a God man. Or a God man. When you don't fear God, therefore, there wouldn't be, there wouldn't be any regard for any man. It doesn't matter how great you are. I don't fear God. So therefore, I don't fear a president. Hallelujah. Mm. Then what does he say about it? Now there was a widow in the, that city. Now there was a widow in that city. And she came to him Help saying. Help somebody in that city. And she came to him saying. And I came to that joy. You are the only one. That can save me from the trouble I find myself. Get justice for me from my adversaries. Get justice for me from my adversaries. And he will not fear. He will not Somebody is owing me money. But because I don't have helper, he or she wouldn't want to give it to me. You know how it, how it is. Oh my God, how it is. So around us in the world, baby. I have somebody, you work for somebody, he didn't want to pay your salary. How what belongs to you have been taken away. I said last week, the danger we are in can scam you. They can scam your life. They can scam everything. They can everything can be taken away. They don't fear God anymore. There is just something to that woman. And that woman. What does she say? Sir? And he will not for a while. He will not for a while. But afterward. But after a word. He said within himself. He said within himself. Though I do not fear God nor regard my After that woman has been coming to her, troubling him. Somebody doesn't care about God or man. It doesn't matter how great you are. But after this woman has been coming to press on him, to disturb him, she will never allow him to rest, even to read, to sit on his judgment throne. And the man now came to himself, I mean to himself, why will I not answer this woman? Yeah, because this widow this troubles widow, me. It troubles me. I will avenge her. I will let me try to help her. Let by her continue coming coming to me. Because she will come me. to me continually. Then the Lord said. And the Lord said. Hear what the unjust judge said. Hear what this unjust judge. Unjust judge. The judge who doesn't know anything beyond his nose. George in America, who doesn't know what is happening in Africa? If he cannot stand right to avenge that woman, what does he say, sir? And shall God not avenge his How much, his how much more God in heaven who sees everything, what you conceive in your heart, he you knows what I conceive. What you are thinking about somebody, he knows it. And he's talking about those who doesn't reference God, who doesn't take God as their helper, he says something for them, sir. And shall God not avenge his own elect? Yes. Who cry out day and night Those to him? Those that cry day and night to him. Though he be, he be if you see, him. If, if, you, if, you are, if you are here to understand God, why don't you call out to him? That is what he's saying here. Will he not avenge you? Will you not will, will he not introduce himself to you, open you up to, to understand him when you come to him? No, he be along with him. There are so many people they believe that it is one man that should be praying for you. You better pray for yourself. Go before the Lord. I'm not saying you are not praying for you. But you know, if it doesn't come from you at that, you don't know what you don't know what God is doing with you. Go to God in your clothes. It doesn't cost you anything. He said, come to me and buy without paying money. 
Just say to God, I want to know you. Just say it in a word. God, reveal yourself to me. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. He said something, Father. I tell you that. I tell you that. He will avenge them speedily. He will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. When the Son of Man comes. When the Son of Man, Jesus, I come back. Will he really find faith on the earth? We live our faith on the earth we are in now. <laughs> faith of doing this rightly. Faith of loving the word of God, the things of God. Faith of doing the things of God. That is what faith is all about. What do you believe in? That is your faith. You believe in killing. That is your faith. You believe that, yeah, God didn't want to be. That is your faith. Hallelujah. Mm. Faith is what you believe in. I believe in it. Then I can do it. That is your faith. He said, by the time I come back to this earth, the second time, will I meet what I taught them on ground? We can see them fading away now. It's fading away now. There are gay, you know, uh, ministers, reverends now, lesbians as ministers of the gospel now. That's the generation we are now. Hallelujah. Nobody wants to hear the word of God anymore. There are fake, you know, preachers. There are fake listeners. The day of the Lord shall I bring judgment to us. By the time I come back, will I meet faith? In your community, is there anything called faith? In the will of God. In your household, is there anything called faith? In your marriage? Do you believe in what God said you should be doing or you believe in your own thing? By the time you say, I will come back, will I have me faith? Let us, you know, it's a self you know, examination now. Examine yourself. Don't talk about somebody else. Let me examine myself. We just can meet faith with me. By the time we come back, Sir so Luke chapter 20. Yeah. Let's see what verse 20 to 26 is quickly. So they watched him. So they watched him. And sent spies who pretended to be righteous. They were, you know, when they were listening to him, they sent spies to him to go and listen to what he's saying. We know that he pretended to be a son of God, to be righteous. And they sent spies. That is the generation we are now. Pretender. They pretend to be with you, to be in him. That is the generation we are now. Even when they were in that congregation, they were there to steal what belongs to them. They were coming there to distract, to confuse. They were spies. Then what does he say about them, sir? That they might cease on his word. That they might cease on his word. In order to deliver him to the power and the authority of the They governor. came to pretend as if they are listening to him in order for them to get him and arrest him. Maybe, maybe it's because we were outside. That was why we didn't know what he was doing inside. Maybe he's a thief. Maybe he's a fornicator. Maybe, maybe, maybe he was doing something that, let, let's go in and sit with him. Then we'll be able to get him. That's the generation we are in now. You don't trust anyone anymore. Even when you have, you have an open mind with people, they will shock you one day that what they will be taking against you, you say, what? Hallelujah. What? You are a thief. What? You want to take away my, my, my followers. You say, what? What you never thought of? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You want to, ah, you are coming to invade my country. What? The, you have never thought of as a president. What? 
That is what we find in our world of today now. The glory God has given to somebody who wants to, you know, you know, delete it away. That's the world we are in now. But he says something to them. So what does he say? Then they ask him. Now they ask him. Saying. Say. Teacher. Teacher. We know that you say, you say. You say. Uh, teach rightly. Yes. And you do not show personal favoritism, but teach the way of God. In and they say, we know that you are, you are a good teacher. You, you, are, you are not favorable to anyone. You are a good teacher. Is it not? You are a liberator. You are a good one. We know you. But what they have inside their heart is different. What does he say, sir? Is it love? I've seen people say, I want to marry you. But what they are coming to do to avenge somebody who, who for, oh my God, oh my God. Somebody who jitter there yesterday. He or she is looking for somebody that will, that will pay, you know, <laughs> that will pay for it. Is it? I love you, I love you, I love you. I love in that business, you love it. But you, what you want to do is to want to steal what belongs to them there. That is the reason we are now. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar or is not? Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Or not? But he, he perceived their craftiness. He, he perceived their craftiness. And said to them. Their craftiness. But to them, they were not crafty because, you know, so what they were taking is this. They were thinking that nobody, everybody on us as human will, will prefer his own. They were now talking to him. Do you think we should pay tax to, you know, you many of you know, you know how you dodge that tax, <laughs> you don't pay that tax, and you, you know how you rub your hair. Uh, so they expect us to say, no, you don't need to pay tax to. I come and pay it to the judge. <laughs> Amen. That was why I said, hey, you are crafty. I am more than you. What does he say to them? That's the generation we are in now. Everybody's about themselves. About them, say, but their tribe, about their nationality, about me. That, oh my God. And the law of the Lord is fading away in our communities. Why do you test me? The Lord, the Lord wants to, to, to show to somebody as your tribe, if you are in a Britain land, Great Britain, it's the same love he wants you to show to somebody in Africa. It's the same love he wants you to show to somebody in Asia. It's the same love. Hallelujah. He says, everybody is a Muslim, therefore I don't like him. If that is not the love of God for you, who that is listening? It might be the question that day. Love your fellow brethren as yourself. Like I said last week, if you love somebody, you will not do evil things against that person. You will not deny him the good things supposed to enjoy. That is why Jesus Christ came to teach us all this thing. We need to travel far above who you are, above what you like most. You, you travel in the ways of God, above your religion that you believe in. Move to the realm of the Lord that he wanted for us in order for us to enjoy the kingdom that will come. We are preaching it now. We are saying it now. If I don't do it, it will be that day. What does he say, sir? Why do you test me? Why do you test me? Show me a denarius. Show me that your, your, your currency. Show me that coin. Whose image and inscription does it have? Whose image is in that... Penny you brought to me. The answer and said. The answer is Caesar. Caesar. <clears throat> and he said to them. And he said to them. Render, render. Give what belongs to, to the Caesar, owner. To Caesar, to things. Render what belongs, belongs to the owner, to the owner. And to God, the things that are God. Render what belongs to that man, to that man, that to that sister. Why you render that we belongs to God, to God. What does God want us to render to him is the teaching he brought to us. The commandment he expected from us. What he wants us to do in our communities is what he expected from us. Give that woman does not belong to you. Give that woman, leave that woman to the owner. That man does not belong to you. Leave that man to the owner. That business, 
Don't you don't to crumble that business. Don't destroy that business. It is not your business. Leave it to the owner. Let that business thrive. That ministry does not belong to you. God gave it to somebody else. Don't destroy it. Whatever does not belong to you, don't destroy it. Build your own. That is what he said to them. What do you expect me to say? That is not mine. I am not here to spend money. I am here to preach the gospel. Listen to what I'm saying to you. And begin to enjoy the money they are giving to you. But they wouldn't want to go by, the, by his teaching. But they are coming, you know, to destroy him. Are you one of those who want to destroy the word of God in our community of today? Why you are, you know, you are defending the things of the world. They are defending taxes. They are not defending the word of God. Are you one of those that is defending your religion? Why you are not doing what that religion of God wanted from you? Go into the foundation of your religion. You will know that there are some things that God says you must not do, and that's your religion. It doesn't matter where you bring it. Look at that religion very well. Even if cow is your God, go and verify. If the Lord said that your cow must kill people, you know, there are some things that will be attached to that love, that thing that you are serving, that you must not do. And God said, when you serve another God, you are not his. Thou shalt not serve another God. So if I see serving all those little, little gods, you are not there. You need the word of God. You are thirsty for the word of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That is why we see all these things that is happening around us today. If all of us should carry the word of God as is what we ought to, there will have been peace in our day-to-day activities, works within us. This generation is thirsty of the word of God. Let us go with this today. Preach it to your fellow brethren. Preach it to your son or daughter. Tell your pastor, let your pastor know that this word is thirsty of the word of God. You can be a preacher to somebody in your office. We need the word of God in this office. In this marriage, we need the word of God in this marriage. Say to your spouse, we need the word of God in this house. Tell it to your, to your, to your, to your, to your own children. We need the word of God, the increase of the word of God in our doing in this place. And the Lord will help each and every one of us that the last day we will not lose the kingdom of God. It's beyond prayer. Prayer cannot do. It's all about changing your character, your perceptions, the way you do things to match the things of the Lord. It's only that that can save each and every one of us to the kingdom to come. If you want to be prayed for, Jesus Christ will pray for you. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, the desire of your heart, that your good desire shall be met, shall be given. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The key to your glory, you will not lose it. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who wants to, want to know God, he will reveal himself to you in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. If Jesus tarries by the grace of God, which shall come by the second me, the same time next week, by the grace of God. And for me and for the man of God, we are saying, God bless you. But what are we talking about today? We are saying that this world that we are in need the word of God. The word of God is fading away in the parliamentaries. The word of God is fading away in presidential seats. It's fading away in no, no local homes. It's fading away in the communities. It's fading away in all the seats of the people that God created in his image. Image of God. He created us. But what we are seeing today is, you know, uh, 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 detolerating the peace of God. He expected, he has, Jesus Christ said, I, my peace I give unto you. 
not as the world give it. The peace of the world will give you something and, and take it back a double. But the peace of God that Jesus gave to us is for us to understand, you know, he said to me, said, the peace I am talking about is in the teaching I gave. That when you do steal my money, there, uh, there, will, there will never be any agitation. That, you know, all those things, when there's agitation in somebody's life, there will be no peace. But when something is, is wrong in somebody's life, you know, his mind will not be set to say, I have given you peace in my teaching. When you follow all these things, there will be no condemnation in your community. But today we are finding all these things that Jesus Christ, you know, said he gave to us, fading away among God. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, till we come back again, we live into the hands of the Almighty God. It shall be well with your soul. It shall be well with your spirit. Mm -hmm. God will fight your battle mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. You are more than conqueror mm -hmm. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And my name is Professor Stephen Darolotu from International Christian Association. Please join me on every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock, you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yet you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. It shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.